got a bit of an adventure to do today because a little while ago my stepsister found me this being thrown out by her house. It is a Hoover Whirlwind. These are bits of work. Eh. And eh. So we'll go through and see if it's worth fixing and then if it is, we'll fix it. If not, we'll end the video. Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? We have a Hoover Whirlwind WR01001 from week 14, 2018 or... I'd imagine it's week 14. There's, there's two 18s, look. That's where I'm looking. And that, that could also be right, but I think it's there. I think it is week 14. 2018 budget cheap vacuum cleaner here very very cheap and obviously it has a few issues we have some gaffer tape on the hose and we're going to have a look at this in a certain order because I don't want to go and do stuff that isn't needed first thing is to see if we can fix the hose because if I can't chop it down and redo it there's no point then we need to check it's complete again I don't want to go and Strip it all apart, change the cable on it if it's missing some key vital parts, and then obviously, if it all goes well, we shall lob a new cable on it. So, we'll start with the hose, which just twists off and pops off. And already, actually, is <laughs> it came off in the angle. Let's see, it looks slightly promising in that it obviously just screws in, but. We might, there might be something key missing. I don't quite know. I've never had one of these before. So underneath the gaffer tape is some sellotape. Which I'm not going to bother to try and peel off. I shall... Wah, I bought toolbox. Slightly prepared. We shall find a knife. Aha, here is a knife. Peel off all this tape. See, the problem is, obviously, machines like this are. And I, I sound a bit bad for saying this. Bought by idiots. No, that's wrong. That is insensitive of me. They are bought by people who know no better. So, the fact that this fell out means that they probably just didn't know that it screws straight back in so with this what I can do is I need to clean it out first a good soak and put the hose through the washing machine maybe stick a drop of glue around the end you know the, the last screw thread and then I can screw this down into it so that is the first easy fix right there we now have and working hose step number one is done so we'll, we'll pop that to the side because yeah i don't want to turn it on yet go by the burning that has happened around this broken cable it's been turned on before when it shouldn't have done so let's just have a quick look at the machine itself so we have a crevice tool and Dusting brush, scrubbing brush more like. <laughs> there, it's there. It's just as filthy as the rest of it. Here we have the bin. Bin release. Very much a single cyclonic thing here. Already I can see that I'm going to need to get Crap Henry out, which I might do in a second. I'll go back onto the carpet but we have let's let's see if this has ever been followed I doubt it has pop that there for a second and here we have the world's rubbishest 
post motor filter that's probably literally just to stop a catastrophic influx of fluff going in but obviously by the time that happens <laughs> it's too late i've also just noticed actually the state of that that's the release valve so i think the chances are this isn't in great condition already underneath though is quite clean it has its eu bodge rubber strips on nice stiff brush roll with a belt on it so i don't think unless it's blocked up down there don't think we've actually got much to worry about on that i think we need to have a look in here so i'm going to go and get mr henry set up i don't want anything else i can use and we shall have a look here we are then so cover your ears if you're in headphones shortly because yes mother's mint condition henry is about to be turned on but first we need to pull the release valve and so, oh my god now granted this has been probably outside for a while it's been in my shed for a good while <laughs> but that is stuck to there that is still as it was i'm being careful how i move it about just a little bit and the walls i'm actually going to quickly get an extension tube so i'm going to put my hand in there so here we go <laughs> Look at the shroud, oh dear. Oh. I was wondering if that would untwist. But it doesn't, so I can imagine, yet there are some screw holes in here. We're going to take them out because it is caked in rubbish. That was just starting to clog up Henry, but luckily he managed to put it through. Lots of scraping to this. I'm not fully refurbishing this. I just don't fancy it. I've got far too much other refurb work on. I'm hoping this is just going to be a very quick clean it up and sell it job because it'll be so cheap and it's easy to unearth the screws there it is so that comes off there and then how does this come off of here that's all one piece oh we got to dig around a bit I think Oh no, hang on. That is literally just that. Okay. I think it does twist off, you know? Aha, it does. It was old. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <gasps> oh. Gosh. That is the filter, so it's no wonder this thing was clogged up. Oh wow. Oh. Let's just see if its crevice tool fits a 32mm, because if it does that's handy. Oh it doesn't, it's one of these tyres. I wonder if this fits anything that we have, because if it does That'll do. Yeah. 
Oh, look at that, look. There we go, I have barge dogs. This still has its rubber end on. There we go, right, we can now use this to clean itself up. There we go, it's not perfect, but I sh shall do those few bits another time. Well, in a minute, because that'll do for now. So yeah, this, ooh, this thing is not being loved at all, has it? New Sir Reed Bob. That will screw this in a bit back on, which didn't need to come out in the first place, but you know, it was stuck on very much with rubbish, like so, he says he hasn't lined anything up, uh, let me get this back on and I'll come back, there we go, once I found out that there is one of those with a cutout that fits something else, it was much easier, so the filter can go back into there, I've also read that you can wash this filter, so we should be doing that. I shall probably probably won't take the washing machine treatment, but I can certainly soak it in some biological washing powder overnight, and that will probably clean it up a treat. I'll put the bin top seal back in. Not that I imagine this thing is going to be incredibly airtight because I might have to refurbish it, you know. I don't know, it might just need a clean, but either way, that is now done. It's A class for energy, not anything else. I've had this thing probably got a D or a C for actual cleaning. 
is done. So we are going to have to move on to the cable. Ugh. And I imagine to start with, the first thing to do is to remove the cleaner head from the chassis. And that is two screws, one of which is very difficult to get to. There we go. I think this bit just lifts off or up. Yeah, well, I don't care. It'll come out in a minute. And there's two on this side. It does. Oh, got to release the belt. probably do with force for now and then we'll whip the base plate off to stick it back on later. There we go. Oof. Smashing everything up. This internal hose. Needs to come off whether it will or not. It will, there we go, so that could all go over there. We do not need those. What we need is this. Bring it down a bit. Where hopefully it's going to get a little bit simpler and we just need to remove this back cover. He says. We'll start with this screw because this should get rid of the hose adapter. Yes it does, so there's that bit off need to do because that allows you to get to and screw so one two three four Now, which bit's going to come off? Oh no, oh gosh. This whole. Th oh, really? Yes, really. This whole other bit has to come off as well, it seems. Crikey, this is a bit of a bum job, isn't it? Right, we'll take the handle off because that's in danger of putting my lights down. There we go, that can come off. And yeah, there's another screw here. And here. I thought that was a moulding join, but it's not. It's like, well, yeah, an actual join. It's not, it's just a, a moulding in the plastic. Oh, God. Three, four, and there is one more on the front, which is five. Use only Hoover original consumables and spares. <laughs> Whatever. Aha. Got to catch all the screws as they fall out. The longer ones go down here, the shorter ones go up here. Nah -ha. Now we can see inside and oh, what are we gonna find? Ah, not too bad. Lots of sound deadening. I imagine this is not a quiet machine. And ha, here we have our cable. Now my initial plan with this is to cut the cable as it comes in and just crimp the new one onto it because it's already crimped and I have those crimps myself. So if I can find some sort of snipping device we should... We'll chop the old cable here for now just to get it out of the way. He says not being able to chop it. Why have I... Have I not brought my snips with me? 
very thin one. It does not There's a pair of scissors here. Right, right so you can go out of the way. We're going to undo this cable clamp here. This isn't too difficult once we're inside of it actually, I'll be honest. I'm just looking around for a date stamp, but there is one. If you can go in there, yeah, all I'm going to do really is to chop this here or pull this bit of sheathing out of the way. And then I have a spare cable here. This is a Hoover cable, well, Hoover cable as well. This is from, this is the spare one from the lifetime that I had. And it's been knocking around, so it might come in handy one day, and it has. So I'll pop that through here. If I can feed it through without having to chop the ends, which I don't particularly want to do. This cable will be fine. It's only a 600 watt motor. This cable ran a machine with 1400 watts going through it. So no question at all that it'll handle this. We shall strip this end. And this end, because this saves me having to put a new crimp on the live to go onto the switch. And then in theory... If I can find them, I'm going to use two butt connectors. It's going to be hidden out of the way. It's never going to be touched again. In my eyes, it's perfectly acceptable. And then we can simply go live to live, neutral to neutral, and job done. I think it's perfectly acceptable. Do you agree? Please comment. There we go, and the one in the middle for luck. That's not coming apart. I will just chop this down a little bit I think this is just a touch too long to be of any full use there we go eh. one in there the other one in the other side I'll twist it together even the inner cores feel cheaper in the cable in this than the older cable from the 90s over there there we go look that will do. We can put the cable clamp itself back on because it will hold this cable in very nicely indeed. I almost don't want to have a look at the motor because it seems okay on the outside. Right. Marvellous. Now I've got to try and get the switch back into there. Ah, that's where it goes. Look, that's handy. Oh, Finley. Ah, there we go. Right, you need to stay there and shut up. And this black plastic part slides down over the top like so and then hopefully this whole bit here put those crimps out of the way we'll just lower back on which it isn't because oh, Sod off. Mm. Not quite. 
Ah, there we go. Let's put the long screws in. Before it all falls apart again. Marvellous. Right, I'm going to just screw this back together now. And we can see if it works. Welcome back. So this side is all back together. What we now have to do though, to get it together, is undo the five screws that hold the base plate on. Because we need to affix the belt in properly this time. I've given it a bit of a wipe down as well. It, it has come up perfectly fine. Now, how does this base plate come off? Ah, it just pulls off. So we can have a look at the brush roll. There's nothing wrong with that. It spins, that's all we can ask for. It has a belt. It's probably the original belt. You know, it's a DBB0001, which is the sure sign of a pattern belt. Obviously, nowadays, these, the belts of this would have been made by a third party company. Because Hoover ones do now. So that can go down there. We'll stick the two end caps back on. Whichever way they go, that one sits nicely there. So we'll pop its two screws back in. This is such a simple little machine to work on. I hope it runs now. We put a lot of effort into this. And this side, but it still has its screws in, goes there. Oh, I've rolled it over and got it dirty. We'll have to dust that off in a minute because I, I haven't cleaned this carpet up, you see, because we're going to try and make it vacuum up its own mess. So we'll fit the belt. Belt's perfectly fine, I see no reason to change the belt at all. Things twisted. Ah, there we go. So the belt should always spin smoothly under there. Oh gosh, got to wipe that down because that's full of mold. There we go. Be fine. You can't see it from the outside. That clips on there. There were some screws need to go back on. One, two, three. Oh, where's the fourth screw? There's the fourth screw. We should be all done for screws now. Bar one more. Four. Push this back onto here. So then we can put the pre-motor pre filter or whatever it is there. It's not the pre-motor filter actually, is it? It's, well, it is actually, it's the second pre-motor filter. We shall pop this back together because we won't need it on Henry anymore. And it just goes in a quarter turn up and over the holder and latches into there the crevice tool can go there and golly gosh we are ready to plug it in and see if it explodes Let's move that so you can see a bit more of the carpet I don't know if this actually turns on anymore or not because we've obviously faffed around with the buttons a bit
Interception. Let's see how well it back is. It's very flimsy. As I'm using it, this whole bit here is moving around. It's quite difficult to push in this deep car carpet, but it's doing all right. Let's we'll see me. Oh, indeed, I think it will work better. Yeah, that, that does, that works a lot nicer. It's very quiet, I'll give it that. I can't say it's nothing, because it's not. But the motor is absolutely superb. Suction is very good. I say that's a good little save. Right, I've just got to clean it back out again, because obviously it has some dirt in it now. I'm hoping that that dirt has slightly cleaned everything up see, indeed it certainly just falls out now although actually i imagine we could probably guess where a lot of that ended up can't we straight onto the filter right let me get this all cleaned up and then we shall sum up so there we go another bin find restored to Full working order. It's, it's, it's a quiet machine, I'll give it that. I have found it actually, it's on Amazon for £52. I wouldn't be surprised if you could find this for £35, £40 in discount retailers. And if you need and cheap, get your three machine and you know, there's, there's no second hand Dysons for sale that you can perform the work that we have shown on this channel and others on it would make sense if you kept the filters religiously spotlessly clean i'm fairly impressed hopefully i'll get a couple of quid out of it and it's another one saved so i hope you've enjoyed watching and thank you for sticking with it throughout and i shall see you soon bye bye